so hello fellow banknote collectors and in today's video we're looking at the five pound banknote so this is the series that was issued between 1939 and 1954 and if you look at the signature sequence so we've got Sheen and Fairlane this banknote was issued between 1939 and 41 and it is the lowest print run of these banknotes so if we have a look at the details of this banknote and you can see it's King George VI. So he was also on the previous series. Um, not him. King George V was on the previous series. And pretty much they're the same design except for the effigy. The watermark is Captain Cook again. So if you've got decimal banknotes of the paper, you can find him on it. Then we have the coat of arms. And if we look at the features in the background you can see it's got ca commonwealth of australia and five pounds so that's a security feature and this is quite a nice banknote and another security feature you can see under the signature is five and over here we have five again so that is an extra watermark in case you a lot of people don't know about that so this is R33, the last prefix is R34, so I missed out by one. And this, I would probably grade it as probably fine, because it it's, has lots of folds and it's dirty, especially on the back. So if you look on the back, you can see it's quite a dirty banknote. It also doesn't fit in this cover. So the allegorical feature that you see here, is commerce so we have a person with a wine barrel so usually they put wine in this or some type of liquid could be oil anything uh, bag with grains and so this is more likely agriculture and then on the ship so you've got the actual mast there so that is uh commerce because it's got word commerce down below then we move over and the rest of the banknote just has patterns. So if we look back, so that is the banknote. And you can see the watermark in the windows there. What a nice banknote. There are no security threads in these. You might think that's a security thread, but that's just dirt. And I'm not too sure who designed these type of banknotes. Uh, I can't find that information online. If you know, please leave a comment down below. So quite a pretty common banknote for the whole series. But this signature sequence is uh, not as common because... So all up, £45 banknote between 9 and 39.54. It was 136 million. 956,000 banknotes and in the 39 to 40 series so that is this Sheen and Fairlane issue uh, they go from R20 to R34 so that's only 14 million banknotes so out of 130, yeah, 137 million only 14 million of them are this signature sequence so if you're going to buy this banknote, because it's quite scarce, it's not going to be a cheap banknote. Uh, but we'll look on eBay and we'll see how much they do cost. If you're going to get one of these, the Armitage Fairlane, the Coombs Watts, probably the Coombs Wilson is probably the easiest to get in higher grades. Uh, because in 1954, they would have changed over, and a lot of people would have kept these if they could. Uh, but in 1950s, this was pretty much half your pay that you would have got per week. So, uh, I would say that not a lot of people would have kept these banknotes. Yeah, it's like uh, for someone who works an average week keeping a $500 banknote. And that is 50% of a lot of people's pay. Uh, 
especially for tradies. So, if we'll look on eBay and see how much they actually cost. So here we have non-sold items, and they are in the non-sold category because I reckon that the price of these is a bit too high. But you can see the lowest that we have is 235 and they class this as very good condition so as you can see it i reckon that this bank has been clean uh, for the for if you look at the detail it has a lot of uh, wear and tear has a lot of folds a lot of creasing uh, yeah there's some central folds there so I reckon this one's been clean. That's what you need to be uh, careful when you purchase this stuff from eBay. Is that a lot of these banknotes might have been cleaned. So that's just what I believe has happened to it. And if you look at this side, you can see the central fold. You can see it's starting to tear there uh, in the center. And you know, you've got another crease there, another fold, another fold. Some more creases. Uh, yeah, so this one is probably, to me, I, I just wouldn't buy it. Uh, so then you've got this bank note. This one costs $300. So this is the next cheapest. Uh, 31 And if we look closer at the actual bank note, you can see it has uh, folds as well. You can see the dirt is still on it. So this one, I don't believe, has been cleaned. It looks like... The ink has been smudged there. Or maybe it's just dirty. It's a bit blurry. Uh, if you look on the other side, yeah, this banknote does look a lot better, but $300, it is a bit expensive. And if you look on the back, you can see it is dirty. And yeah, you can see the fold. There's quite two of them there. There's another fold there. Looks like it's starting to wear the banknote out here. And looks like there's a, a fold going that way as well. Uh, but it's covered up by the ink. So, uh, that banknote is quite an expensive one to purchase. And then you've got other banknotes. So you've got more very fine $500. Oh, $500. Uh, Looks, yeah, I don't think this one's been tampered with, uh, maybe. Looks like it's probably had a rip there. Uh, lots of creasing on it. So, yeah, but it hasn't been cleaned. You can see the dirt on the actual banknote. Uh, and you probably noticed that I like to say actual. Actually, it's one of my favourite words in the English alphabet. Actually, no, it isn't. So here we're going to sold items and we discount this bank no it's not the one we're after that one that one that one so we have two uh, this one is Armitage Fairlane so that's the first prefix of the next series 140 that's a good value banknote and if we look at this one, so this is the only one with uh, that's been graded, uh, but there are no Sheehan Fairlane banknotes that have been sold lately on eBay. So this one is very fine. And how much did it sell for? 355. So I'd expect a Sheehan Fairlane banknote or very fine condition, probably to, to sell I don't know, for 500 600 dollars. If it's graded, it would sell lower if it's not graded but in the same condition. It's just the way it is put. Because these, they do give an assurance of what grade it is. Even though it's quite low. So that's quite a nice banknote. And they can tell when they're grading it if the banknote has been tampered with. So this one hasn't, you know, it does have some dirt in the background. Looks like it has a fold. And it's quite a good bang note, even though it is quite an expensive one. 
So if we go back, so we don't have any. We have some 10 pound banknotes, uh, but I'll do another video on those. Actually, they are quite nice and they're expensive as well. So uh, for values, I can't really help you because sold items are few and far between. So then we need to go and check coin shops, you know. But uh, that's pretty time consuming and I won't do that for this video so you can do it on your own if you feel like it. Uh, but coin shops will be a bit more expensive than eBay because more overhead costs they do have. So anyway, I'll leave a link to eBay and you can look for some five pound banknotes. If you can get one from this series, bring the light over. Get one from uh, what's it? Uh, twenty to thirty-four. I know for under three hundred dollars. Uh, then you're doing a good job, and it hasn't been clean like we saw in the other banknote. So anyway, hope this helps you with uh, Australia's three decimal banknotes. Thank you very much, and have an awesome banknote and coin collecting time. Thank you, and goodbye.